Okay, I want to show you guys a quick way to if you're if you're dealing with the issue of you don't have a device to model on. Um, of course, you can share screenshots. So what I'm going to do is show you how I use Google Slides to help with modeling. So here is a screenshot of my client's homepage. So I'm going to just go ahead and screenshot this. And I have Google Slides up. You can see that I literally screenshotted it and then drag it in. Super easy. Now I can change it to be a little bit bigger because I think this will be helpful. And then all I can do is, for example, copy a button like this. Again, I'm screenshotting. Throw it up there. Change the size. And let's see, let's try, say we're working on the phrase, get more. I probably could have done a better screenshot of this, but you get the idea. So change the size. And now what I'm able to do um, is model this. So if I'm working on that phrase, instead of just using an annotate or a pointer or circling, I can pull this in, get more. Um, I also like to change my Google Chrome settings so that uh, there's not a lot of busyness at the top. Um, we can also change, let's see, I don't know, let's see if I know how to change. I think there's a way, yeah, hide the menu. So now we have it nice and big and you can do this, you can make more pages depending on the, the child's uh, system, but you can very easily have over here lots of different vocabulary. You can pull it onto the message window as a way to very easily model um, when you're only working with a low tech screenshot 